Welcome back to the Swagcast. Season 2, episode 28. 22! <laughs> Yay! Hey, welcome back, everybody. That's becoming Jeff's thing. I know, it's just making up episode numbers. Just uh, yes. see if everybody's paying attention. Yes, I kind of like it. It could be Jason. <laughs> okay, including our guest today is Jason Lundy and Rose Parsons from Bank of America. And they're sitting in on our other segments. You might hear them in the background, and Jeff is, seems to be particularly Studio fond of Jason today. today. <laughs> yeah. and, so. and actually, I... Do have a brother who does work, work at a bank. Very um, cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we've introduced our guests, we should probably introduce ourselves, right? Who are you today? Um, I, I am Pete Psychic. Pete Psychic. <laughs> and does Pete Psychic have a name? What? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, um, I, I am, uh, um, I'm, uh, I don't know yet. Okay, <laughs> don't know yet. You. I don't know, but you, you can't Pete. Okay. I'm Jeff Sidekick. Hi, Pete. Hi, Jeff. Who are you? Noel Thompson. Noel Thompson, and I'm Olivia. Slash We're Hillary Clinton. Slash, slash Hillary Clinton? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hillary, Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Who was Hillary Clinton? Oh, you know from Hillary Clinton. Okay. Let's oh, no. Why'd you say that? Me either. Okay. Taking a break from Oprah Winfrey. Yeah, exactly. We've been talking a lot about Oprah the past couple of weeks. Uh, so we got a really exciting episode coming up for you guys later on. We're going to be chatting with Rose and Jason all about their work at Bank of America and all the amazing things that they do. So can't wait to do that. Right, guys? Yeah. I'm very excited. Should Before we move on, though, should we check in, see how we're doing? I'm doing great. You're doing great? Yep. I'm Alive and perky. Alive and perky. That's how we like to hear you. Yep. No. Tim me. be... Pete over here. Remember? Last week you said Pete uh, annoyed you because he was too perky. Uh, yes, but he's like uh, a minimum. A minimum minimum perkiness, perkiness today. today. Yeah. Fascinating. Yep, yeah, same as me. Same as you, okay. Yeah. Pete? I think you're more perky than me today. Uh, thank you. How much chicken does he have? How much chicken does he have? I don't know. <laughs> well, why don't you ask him? No, him. Peter. How, How much is, chicken do you have, Peter? I have no chicken today. Uh, why are you asking that? Chicken. Chicken butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chicken breast? Why are you asking about that? I don't know either. It's very confusing. Oh. Pete, what's going on with you? It's happy to be here. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Plugging away. Noel, what's new? Beautiful. Beautiful. What's beautiful? <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> How, is everything good with you? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Excited for the weekend? Yeah. Yes. Angels in the sky. Okay. Okay. Got going dark for yeah. a little bit. But uh, how about we'll take a little break, and when we come back, we'll hear from our guests, Jason Lundy and Rose Parsons. Sound good? Yeah, we'll be right back. Here's Pete with the bio. Okay. Jason Lundy is a Senior Vice President and Senior Relationship Manager for the Main Market and Business Banking at Bank of America Merrill Lynch. In this role, he leads a team of people focused on understanding each commercial client's unique needs to deliver the best financial guidance and solutions. Jason is actively involved in his community and, and is on the Strive Steering Committee, as well as being involved with the boards of several other organizations. Jason is joined today by Rose Parsons, the market manager from Bank of America. Please welcome Jason and Rose. Please welcome Jason Lundy and Rose Parsons. Hey! Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks so much thanks, for having us. Yes, thanks for having us. Uh, Noel has your first question this morning. Uh, yeah, tell us about your role at Bank of America. What do you each do? Rose, you want to start us off? Sure. So I am fortunate enough to have my dream job. Mm -hmm. I get to work with our associates on associate engagement, so volunteerism, um, recognition, um, just learning about what they're passionate about. I also get to, um, to give away money. So I work with the philanthropy in Maine. So uh, all the money that the bank gives to local nonprofits. Um, actually, Jason and I both have a part in um, and various other things, but it is a dream job. So. Awesome. Yeah, and so I'm a commercial banker, um, and so I work with companies throughout the state of Maine, pretty much from Bangor uh, down to the Maine border, um, and companies that have uh, sales between five million 
and $50 million, uh, that's kind of the target uh, area for me. And it's everything from manufacturers to law firms to retailers um, to aviation companies. Um, it's a really cool job. It's a great way to see sort of how the world works. Um, and I get to travel to the state and meet with all sorts of interesting entrepreneurs uh, who have a very different risk appetite than I do. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's a really, really cool job. Yeah, awesome. Sounds, both sound cool. Yeah, definitely. Jeff, over to you, bud. You're up, okay. How did you each come to work for Bank of America? I'll take the first one. Sure. Yep. So uh, I was a college intern for the bank, and long story short, um, I went to uh, to a boarding school. I kept coming home every weekend, and my mom put the scholarship application on my bed. And then every weekend, I would leave, and the scholarship application would remain <laughs> on my bed. And uh, she finally pushed me hard enough to to uh, put the scholarship application in, and it was for uh, MBNA, which was a credit card company here in uh, in Maine. Uh, and lo and behold, got a scholarship through the bank and internship, um, and then MBNA was acquired by Bank of America um, later on. But uh, this is the only place I've ever worked uh, wow. in terms of a professional career, so I've been here for, for 22 years. I uh, had all sorts of really interesting jobs along the way. I feel like I've had three or four uh, careers as, as time's gone on. Yeah. Um, and uh, most of it based here in Maine, but was in Wilmington, Delaware for about five years where our credit card uh, headquarters was based and worked with colleges and universities all over the U.S. that had credit card programs. So I got to work with the Big Ten, the Big East, and the ACC okay. and do a lot of traveling and see uh, college basketball games and football games, which was really fun. Uh, and then I came back here to, to Maine to raise my family and uh, have been in the commercial banking group now for about 10 years. Wow. Yeah. My story is a little similar to Jason's. I also started at uh, MBNA, um, but I kind of, I moved to Delaware uh, not knowing anyone, not being familiar with the area, uh, and I just happened to stumble on a role that was open, a job that was open, and I got hired, and 20 years later, I am now, I moved to Maine, which I'm super excited about, 11 yeah. years ago. Uh, and it was the best move I ever had. I'm so happy to be here. Um, but I have also had various roles in finance and human resources. And I ended, the last job I had before this one was uh, credit. So the credit card organization. So it's been, it is like starting a new career every time you do Sorry. move into a new, a new line of business. So it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's change. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I did a stint at MBA too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Some of the best years the company ever yeah. had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was really good at those affinity cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back over to you, sir. What are the hardest and most um, rewarding rewarding part of your job? Uh, I think when the most rewarding part is being able to give organizations, nonprofits that have a need, funding to be able to help them support the communities. Uh, that also is the hardest part of the job is when we do receive requests for funding and, and, and organizations that do need help and that are critical to the communities that we are not able to fund them. Um, so that is the best part and the worst part yeah. of my role. Absolutely. Yeah, so I'd say the hardest for me is uh, prospecting. So. I've got to go out and meet with companies all over the state, and a lot of times it takes two, three, four, five years before you start to develop a relationship with some of these companies, before you get an opportunity to uh, to get a swing at some of their business. Uh, so it takes a long time. The sales cycles are really long, and you can't always say yes, which is kind of the frustrating part. Even when you get an opportunity on the credit side, you know it might not meet the criteria that we have. Yeah. So you spend all this time, you know, courting uh, potential uh, companies, and then you can't always say yes. So that's that's probably the hardest part. I think the most rewarding part for me, I think, is the stuff, both both getting to really know these companies well, becoming a part of sort of their trusted team so that when they're making decisions about do they want to go out and expand, maybe build a new building, maybe uh, acquire another company, um, you know, having them come to us or come to me and uh, sort of talk those th things through and be able to be an advisor is a, is a pretty cool uh, part of the job. And I think the other most rewarding piece is really just being able to, I've been doing this 10 years, uh, like I said, and just being able to, to go out into the community, get to know um, different organizations, entrepreneurs, people that you would never uh, think you'd meet uh, over the course of a lifetime. And I feel like I've really been able to get to know a ton of people in the state of Maine, um, not just through the day-to-day -day job, but through the work that I've done. And, 
nonprofits and different boards I've been associated with. So I think that's probably the most rewarding piece. Nice. Very cool. Jeff. Back to you. Uh, can you tell us about bank? The banks. Uh, the banks. Charitable. Charitable. Focus areas. R uh, focus areas in Maine. Oh, that's you, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Uh, so uh, Bank of America um, is focused on um, several needs in the community. Um, we uh, have two main areas of focus, which is focused on the uh, needs of individuals and families. Um, so we invest in uh, workforce development, uh, basic needs like food insecurity, uh, education, and we also focus on the community's needs. So we invest in housing, um, community revitalization, uh, arts, and environment. Uh, those are the two main areas of focus, or two, yeah, two main areas of focus that we, we do uh, focus on um, but we there are some things that we may do that are a little bit different but based on the needs in the community um, we are very involved with you know Portland adult ed um, and that goes towards workforce development um, the food banks uh, but we each year we have two areas or two rounds of grants that we give uh, and we have a grant uh, committee that comes together and decides all these uh, grants, which we're in the middle of right now. Uh, and Jason is a member of that committee. Uh, and we uh, are able to fund twice a year through our grants. That's amazing. Can you give the grand tally for 19? So I'm proud to announce on this podcast. Ooh, breaking news. Right here. Breaking, yeah. breaking news. <laughs> uh, that uh, in 2019, Bank of America, through our grants, sponsorships, and employee giving, uh, we awarded nine, over 900000 Wow. in the state of Maine. Wow. So yeah, we Absolutely. are super proud of it, that yeah. over 230 organizations received funding. Wow. So That's great. it is... Uh, the one thing I'm, I am proud of is that at Bank of America, if you um, are an employee and you feel strongly about an organization, so if I gave a donation to Strive, Bank of America would match that donation up to wow. 5000 Wow. So, That's incredible. Yeah. yeah. They're invested in their associates, but also want to know what their uh, what their what is important to them. Yeah. Breaking news. Yeah, breaking news. <laughs> You're first. That's great. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, over to you, sir. What does supporting your community look like to you? Yeah, so I'll, I'll take that one first. So, I mean, for me, I think it's all about um, volunteerism, uh, you know, the things that you might naturally be involved with. So for me, it's a lot of stuff with my kids right now. Uh, so be it youth sports or things that we do through church and sort of faith formation through church. Um, but it's also organizations that I'm passionate about, like Strive um, and uh, Good Shepherd Food Bank and just other organizations where there's opportunities for volunteerism. Um, Portland Adult Education, as Rose mentioned, uh, our team in Portland has gone over uh, a number of times now and done mock interviews um, for new Mainers that are, that are coming through Portland Adult Education um, and getting certifications and training through that. Um, so that, that for me, it's, it's about what you're passionate about, uh, and, and the bank's really uh, open to us trying to explore those opportunities and be supportive. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So great. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, Portland Adult Ed and the work that they do um, with the uh, English second language classes is amazing, and I think that the, the um, their students um, are, they all have degrees that, you know, if they can learn and, and be able to be a, support the workforce needs in Maine. I think that's huge. Uh, junior Achievement is another one that I am um, involved in. Um, but I also have uh, uh, a s uh, special passion for the Children's Museum because I think that the things that they're doing with the new building um, is amazing. And uh, like they are opening up for anybody, can yeah. do anything. I mean, STEM, everything. So. Great. Yeah. yeah, thanks for bringing up Junior Achievement Bros. We do a lot um, both here in Greater Portland and also in the Belfast area, mm -hmm. um, going into classrooms in the various schools, um, providing you know financial literacy and financial education, which mm -hmm. is always fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Which is a good segue to the next one. Yeah, back to you. We had heard. Oh, we heard Bank of America employees had done forty thousand 
viewers. Volunteer. Volunteers. Volunteer hours. Uh, volunteer hours in 2019. Why is the... Why is this? Why is this... Important. Important to the bank. It's uh, a lot of hours. <laughs> I am super proud of our associates. Uh, they're very engaged. That goes back years. Uh, and they have, they're, they are passionate about so many things across the state. Uh, it is, the bank gives each associate four hours a month to volunteer um, to whatever organization they are passionate about. Paid. Or yeah. paid, yes, paid hours. Um, and most do probably more than that um, uh, paid. Uh, but it is, it's important to the bank because, again, it goes back to um, associates and what's important to them and associate satisfaction and uh, work family balance and giving back to their communities is important because those are the people that we have as our clients um, and that we are serving each day. Yeah. So it is important for the bank, really, because it's what's important to the associates. Yeah. And I'm always amazed. We do, uh, you know, an annual recognition uh, event where we talk about volunteerism and people get up there. And I feel like I do a lot, you know, in terms of board involvement and volunteerism. And you hear some of the numbers of hours that some individuals put up, you know, 1,000, 1,200, 1,500 mm -hmm. volunteer hours. Uh, it's just staggering. Yeah. Uh, and it's just so, it's really, really cool to hear. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really great. You guys are able to do that. Yeah. That's incredible. Back to us. Yeah. What does Bank of America Support Services mm -hmm. Division. Divisions do, Jason, we heard you were on one of, one of the following members. Founding members. Yeah, so really, really cool department within Bank of America. So Support Services has been around for over 25 years now, and so we have locations in Newark, Delaware, uh, which is where the department was founded, uh, Belfast, Maine, uh, where we have about 40 associates, uh, Boston, which is our newest office, uh, and that office is growing really quickly. Uh, it was established late 2017, and they've got about 20 uh, employees there now. And then we also have a location in Dallas, Texas. Wow. And so support services employs uh, individuals with cognitive and developmental disabilities. Uh, and really, it's, it's all about insourcing. So when the department was started uh, 25 years ago, we looked at what are those vendor services that we could be um, insourcing. Uh, in providing an employment opportunity for folks with, with disabilities. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's a very, very um, long-standing uh, part of our company, department within our company, and it's been so fun to see it grow. And I was one of the founding members in Maine. Um, so my sophomore year of college, we established the department in Belfast. And so I was able to work with uh, the management team that went out and did all the recruiting and hiring. And then at the same point in time, we were going throughout the, the company in Maine trying to really source the jobs. Um, so we were both trying to find the employees, but also trying to find the work internally. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a really, really fun experience. Uh, and then just to see the, the longevity of the team, uh, you know, speak specifically to Maine, you know, most of the folks that, uh, that we uh, hired those first two, three years are still here, uh, you know, 20 plus years later. That's great. Uh, mm -hmm. And you know, full, you know, full employment, full benefits, all the benefits that Rose and, and I are entitled to, um, the social network that's been built, uh, you know, from that group, um, and uh, we've had a couple of folks that have met, fallen in love, and have gotten oh, married. Wow. Uh, wow. I was in one of the weddings for a couple. Uh, so it's just been, it's been so incredible to see what's developed there. We have a Special Olympics team, uh, a Bank of America Special Olympics team, um, you know, that's been, uh, that's been longstanding, you know, 15, 20 years now. Um, so it's just amazing to see the work that the, that the group does. Um, and really just, you know, in terms of what, so what do they do? So just some examples. So uh, it's really three sort of primary areas. It's, it's fulfillment. So that could be everything from managed, like package assembly, um, document printing and mailings and data entry. We have a graphic arts group uh, that does posters, banners, signage, t-shirts and apparel uh, screen printing. Um, they also do digital printing of brochures and postcards. And then we have an inventory management group that does warehouse storage and distribution services. Um, wow. So those are really sort of the, the functions that those groups uh, provide or that, that team provides for us. And they also manage all the ATMs in the in the United States. So wow. they monitor all of them. Wow. Yeah, it's it's it. That's a huge job. So yeah. you know, you want to go to ATM and be able to get your money. They are the they are behind the scenes making wow. sure that that money is there for you to get. So that's awesome. Yeah. 
that's such a broad, you know, scope yeah. of, of opportunities. That's really exciting. And I would certainly say, you know, for, for employers, you know, specifically here in Maine or in those other regions that I mentioned, you know, if you're interested in uh, figuring out how do you how do you um, tap into the uh, the employment base of you know people with cognitive and developmental disabilities. You know, we've got a formula here that's worked for over yeah. 25 years, and we're certainly open to doing tours. And uh, Rose and I were just talking to the gentleman that runs both the, the Maine and, and Boston sites, and he said he's constantly having people come in, uh, you know, other employers come in uh, and look at what we do, uh, specifically in Belfast, to see how they can repli replicate that. Wow. And our, um, the company actually put together a book of a how-to mm -hmm. um, that we've been, you know, we've been handing that out just to because he lays out exactly what and how it works, how it was successful at Bank of America, and um, how other companies can do it. I think they are. I know that we've they've had tours all across in all the sites. That is companies really coming in and saying this is something that we can do. Yeah. Um, so we are promoting That's that, great. and I think that any company that would like a tour. Yeah, so if, and if folks want to find out more information, if you go to just the bankofamerica.com website and then under search, just put in support services, it takes you to a really great video um, and then provides that brochure that Rose, Rose mentioned. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Jeff? Over yeah. to you. Uh, can you tell us about Bank of America Environmental. environmental business Initiative. initiatives. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll, I'll touch on this one a little bit, and I will defer again to the Bank of America website for more factual figures. But yeah, so uh, since 2007, the bank made a, a pretty strong focus on investing in low carbon and sustainable business activities around the globe. Uh, and so we've put we've put over 140 billion dollars to work since 2007, investing in those businesses. Um, we set a new goal to invest an additional $300 billion over the next 10 years. Um, so taking that number to what, you know, $440 billion uh, by 2030. It's real money. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sure is. Uh, oh, yeah. They're not mess yeah. messing around with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just some things that we've done as a company. Uh, so we've, we achieved carbon neutrality uh, earlier this year. Uh, and that some of this is, is a little bit foreign to me, but we've uh, reduced our scope one and two emissions from our facilities. We've purchased 100% renewable electricity, and then we're buying carbon offsets for any remaining unavoidable emissions. Um, so you think about a company of our size and scale yeah. to be carbon neutral, uh, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, and then we've also reduced our emissions by more than 50% uh, in our facility since 2010. Uh, and then we've also started uh, to install uh, on-site solar um, at a number of facilities, uh, which is which is pretty cool to see. That is really awesome. That's cool. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. Big yeah. changes. That's incredible. Yeah. Back to you, Noel. Back to you. Sorry. Yeah. What are you each most proud of so far in your career? <laughs> you want me to go first? Do you yeah. have a little time to think? All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I think for me, it's just the, the ability to have such a varied career working at the same company, you know, for 22 years. Like I said, I really feel like I've had three or four pretty different careers all the way along. Uh, I've been able to provide, you know, a great, um, yeah, I've been able to provide for my family, which has been, been incredible. I've been able to really meet all my career goals uh, at the same company the whole way through. And the fact that I was able to come back to Maine uh, and raise my family here um, and do that and still have a really a really great job, I think is what, um, you know, what I'm, I'm most proud of. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. I think I am most proud of all the things that we've been able to do. I know this sounds, because of my job, it probably sounds easy, but <laughs> all the things that we've been able to do in the community and the impact that we've actually made and seeing the impact um, and being able to go out and be with um, community leaders. Uh, we hold a round table each year, or two round tables, um, for uh, local nonprofit leaders to come in and talk to us about what the needs are in the community. And that is huge because although we think we know what's going on, it's not something that we are working directly with. So it is helpful for us to hear from the community leaders. And um, it is such a great conversation to be able to hear what they're doing and how we can help them help those. So I think that that actually is my proudest whenever we have those meetings because we can hear what is going on and just, and just learn. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. That's really, really cool. All right, last 
interview question. Jeff's got it for you. Go ahead, Jeff. Okay. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, been a, a member of Strive. Uh, the steering committee for some time. How did uh, you come to be involved, and what has been has been on the committee? Committee. Uh, the. Being on the committee. Being on the committee, uh, uh, meet to you. What's it meant to you? Yep. What's it meant to you? Yeah. So I got involved, um, well, so my, my cousin Carrie was in the second Strive U class. Fact check me, Pete, Olivia, Whitney, but I think, I think she was the second, second Strive U class. That sounds about right to me. And. So that was sort of my first involvement with Drive, and it, you know, just it has been such an impact on Carrie, her life, her ability to live here independently in Portland, uh, to have meaningful employment, to have a friend network and a social network here through this organization, uh, and then what it's meant for our family overall. Um, again, for for Carrie's ability to live independently here in Maine and what that's done for her. So that was sort of my first intro to Strive, um, and then through sort of our charitable grant process, I got to know Pete. Uh, and other folks here. Um, so that was sort of my first uh, introduction to Strive or, or how things evolved. And then being on the committee itself, I mean, so a lot of times if you're volunteering in an organization, you might only see one pretty small part of the organization. I think what's cool about a steering committee or a board uh, is that you get to really touch or, or understand sort of all the parts of um, the organization and see the things that they're working on. And so it's just fun to, to know uh, sort of what's happening here on an ongoing basis, to see what's happened with Strive worldwide, you know, to hear about the Strive cast, just all these different uh, outreach um, efforts that this organization is doing. And being able to weigh in a little bit and give feedback and maybe provide some, some contacts or resources that you have um, to help the organization. So it's been a really fun experience. And it's, uh, you know, I, I, I'm hopeful that it will continue for many, many years to come. So are we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's giving me the, like, I don't know. No. Hopefully the trial period's ended. Yeah. <laughs> quite the contrary. Quite the contrary. Yeah. Yeah. Quite the contrary. Yeah. All right. Great yeah. job with those questions. You guys still ready for another, oh, for the yeah. lightning round? Oh, yeah. Still yeah. ready oh, for it? Oh, we're ready. All right. Oh, yes. And I can start it right okay. away. You can get started. Okay. Right. We, we have a little theme. We have a theme song for the lightning round. I don't know where it's gone, but would you like to hit it, you guys? It's time for the lightning, lightning round. Lightning round. There we go. Finally, some enthusiasm with it. All right. All right. As Jeff, always, Jeff, Jeff leads off the lightning round. Here we go. Hot coffee or iced coffee? Iced coffee. Hot coffee. Oh. <laughs> Hot coffee. 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 Oh, where is your favorite vacation spot? Favorite vacation spot? Well, this Hawaii. is not landing on our side. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to say Bayside, Maine. Oh, nice. Nice. You can throw a plug in if you'd like. <laughs> 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 when vacation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, uh, if you could have any superpower. What it? What would it be? What would it be and why? Oh, tough one. This is a lightning round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, fast. Uh, Obviously, super speed would not be the answer. <laughs> <laughs> super strength. Super mm. strength. You like super strength? I think like the ability to deflect anything, like bullets, Ooh. boulders. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking that about, man. Can I take my back? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anything goes. I want what he has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I think mine will be the like, super strong. Super strength? What would your superpower be? Super staying awake during the podcast? <laughs> yes, that's a great one for you. Okay, and what would your superpower be for real? I know. Flexibility. Flexibility. Oh. That is an excellent that. one. Uh, that's I, I, Brittany's actually, superpower. Yeah. That was mine. Oh. <laughs> so I have a super strength. 
<laughs> yeah, I know, but... And flexible. Strong and flexible. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You gotta have both. Lightning uh, round grinds uh, to a yeah, halt. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. Okay. What is your... S- oh, spirit animal. Oh, you've got to be... Spirit, spirit animal. animal. We have talked about this so much, and I'm gonna de- I'm gonna just go off topic for one second. A friend of mine, all of her coworkers said her spirit animal was uh, was a snapping turtle, and oh. she's never gotten over it. Oh, like, that's a tough one. That's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Oh, I know it's not I'm going work. bear. Yeah, oh, I yeah. called you Noel bear, bear. and why? Uh, you know the uh, well, I like to sleep in. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> similar. Similar. Uh, oh yeah. I can be a little cranky sometimes. That's a Yarmouth thing. Yeah. <laughs> the Yarmouth boys. Yeah. I think protecting the family. Yeah. yeah. That's more of a wolf thing, but um, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I would say a tiger. Mm. That's a great Tell one. me more. That seems like I. Because uh, oh I feel like I walk around like I own the place <laughs> and I am there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's a great like one. Tony the like Tony the Tiger. Like Tony the Tiger. Yeah, exactly. And she's got right. to finish. I mean, super strong. I mean, if he's a tiger, you got to be vicious if he's a tiger. Yeah, you're not I'm vicious. a super nice tiger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Friendly tiger. Yes, yeah, friendly tiger. Yeah. Tony the Tiger. Tony, Tony the Tiger. Well, what's yours be? Yeah, what's yours? <laughs> what's yours? Uh, <laughs> Jeff, what's your spirit what? animal? What would your spirit animal be? Uh, it'd be me? Yes, you. Um, the other Jeff. What? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, I think mine would be grasshopper. Oh, <laughs> oh, why? Wow. Why? 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 Uh, <laughs> why do you think why? grasshopper? Um, it, it's just so pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, right. oh, wow. Well, what, and what would what do you think your? Oh, did he say already? No. What do you think yours would be? Oh, a leopard. A leopard. Why? Oh. Because it, it, it's so, it, it's so, um, I'll, energy. It's all about energy. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Saved it. All and right. Pete, uh, Pete always answers this question as Miss oh, a junkyard dog. Really? <laughs> 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 like, yeah. You don't look like a junkyard dog. Well, thank you, I think. <laughs> Olivia, you, you don't look like a leopard. <laughs> Sorry. some thoughts on this one? Yes. I... I'm very partial to whales. So okay. I think oh, whales I like that. Oh. Uh, actually, um, whale. Uh, I, 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 I do like whales. <laughs> <laughs> From a grasshopper to a whale. Yeah. That's I think a grasshopper is whale. An orca, hey, yeah. You want to ask your favorite question yeah, of all time? Last one. Yeah, Bring it home. Go for it. Tell us about your best joke. Just tell us your best joke. So I prepared, I knew. Okay. Yeah, good. Right. We, we actually feel so much pressure. Here. Right. Yeah, if you'd like to have some resources. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if it's okay, I'm actually going to do three. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> so, you came prepared. I'm a dad. I love dad jokes. <laughs> all right, so we're going to start in the banking industry first. Oh, all right. So on team, on uh, yeah. topic. <laughs> yep. uh, why did the uh, banker change jobs? When or why? 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 Hmm. Why did the banker change jobs, Noel? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. He lost interest. Oh. Oh. Get it? Yeah. All right, let's stay in the world of uh, right. banking and finance. Okay. Should we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, I, Go ahead, I, Jeff. Yeah. I got one. I got one for you, Justin. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, um, <clears throat> how much do you like coffee? How much do I like coffee? Yes. That's uh, a question. Uh, a lot. Um, so regular coffee or decaf coffee? <laughs> oh, regular. Are you just doing the lightning round? Like continuing the lightning round about coffee? Or is she interrupting your joke? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's let Jason finish Let's let him do a second joke, okay? Yeah. You ready? Go ahead. All right, so second joke. We're going to say in banking and finance. Uh, where does 007 invest all his extra money? Oh. Ooh. What do you James think? Bond. That's right, James Bond. Where do you think he invests his extra money? You're almost, I think you've almost yeah, got it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Bonds. Stocks and bonds. Oh, oh, get it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's like Peter's middle name. Your middle name is Bond? <laughs> James. 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 Oh. Yeah. Oh. Stocks? True story. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Wow. You know, James. All right. Last one, we're gonna we're gonna go uh, we're going historical composers on this one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Get ready. All right, change it up. What was Beethoven's favorite food? Uh, oh, I know this one. This is my favorite. Oh, oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Hit me, Jeff. Okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> Not the movie. Turkey breast. 
turns to the other muffin and says, sheesh, it's hot in here. The other muffin says, oh my god, a talking muffin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? The muffins can't talk. That was good. Yeah. I, I don't know. Muffins. Chicken breast. <laughs> I don't know, right? Uh, I mean, talking muffins can talk. <laughs> That's, That's the joke. joke. I don't know. Oh my god. Uh, it's chicken breast. <laughs> well, thank you guys very yeah, much thank for coming in. So thank you so much for having us. So of course. Jeff? We'll be right back. Webcast is brought to you by listeners like you and listeners like Pete. Yeah, it is listeners like Pete, but, but not which this Pete. Pete. Peter. Peter, Peter Thompson, Thompson, Noel's brother. Shout out to you this week. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening. listening and for being a great brother to your brother, Noel. And Holly, your sister. Right? Want to say something to your brother? Hi there. Hi there. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. I don't know what that means. What else? Vertigo. Vertigo? Yeah. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Okay. Jeff? We'll be right back. If you have a door, you have a door, you open the door. I open the door and ask Noel. All right, we've got another email for you today. And Pete, who's it from? It's from Jim Healy from Dexter. Oh, thanks for writing in, Jim. Yeah, Jim wrote that he's tired of winter mm. and is really kind of, it's kind of getting him down and impacting him a lot. Um, and he wants to know if you have any suggestions on where to go or what he can do um, until it gets to be spring. Therapist. <laughs> See the therapist. Okay. Yeah. Any other suggestions about things he can do to get rid of the winter Certainly blues? Certainly a good answer. Yeah. Go skiing. Go, go skiing. skiing. Embrace the winter? Yeah. Yeah. What else? And take your time and enjoy the day. Take your time and enjoy the day. That's okay. good advice. Yeah. Jeff, do you want to weigh in with your money? Jeff is anxious uh, to answer. Yes, I am. Go ahead. What, what do you suggest to Jim? To get rid of the winter blues. Um, um, how to get rid of winter blues? Um, always have fun and love your life. Always have fun and love your life. Great advice, gentlemen. A little nice. Bit more on part today. So we thank Jim for sending us an email, and if you'd like to have a question answered by the gentleman, then you can send it to strivecast at pslstrive.org or give us a call and leave a message for Noel on our Ask Noel, Noel hotline, hotline 207 774 extension 352. Mm-hmm. Give us a call. You'll hear Noel's fun voicemail that's set up and uh, you'll get to leave your message and we'll play it on the air. Sound yeah. good? Mm-hmm. Noel is really eager for a voicemail, so yes. that might be our preferred yeah. mode coming up if you. Uh, we'll play your voicemail on the yeah. show. So, anything else? Any other advice you want to give to Jim and Dexter? Only one more. Only one more. Hit it. What is it? How to um, enjoy life. How to enjoy life. Yeah. How can he enjoy life? To take your time and, and be nice to people. That's oh. great advice. Perfect. A good ask, Noel. Yeah, that's good. Like that. All right, you have, want to sing an outro song? I don't really have an outro. All right, then okay. Jeff? Jeff? We'll be right back. Drivecast is brought to you by... Your ad here. Your ad right here. Who's our sponsor this week? Joe. No, no not Joe, but Joe's it's Bose. 
Bo's what? Books and Burritos. Oh, come on. Is that's, back. that's long, dude. I know. Bo's Books and Burritos, the only place in town where you can check out a book and get a great burrito. Yum. Yum. Amazing. Delicious. <laughs> Okay, but seriously, if you would like to advertise right here on the Strivecast, we have great packages available. Mm -hmm. Once again, send us an email at strivecast at pslstrive.org, and we want to work with you to promote your business. That's right. Uh, how about a book about burritos? A book about a book burritos. About burritos. I'll Genius. bet they have that. I bet they have Bose. that at Bose since they have it all. Right? An amazing place. Yeah, uh, we should go there. Uh, how about a chicken burrito? Chicken burrito. We just had some of their burritos. Yum. I know. I'm stuck. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I had the steak. Uh, 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 and the carnitas. Uh, if you had the steak, you probably had it with hot sauce, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Load it up. What kind did you have? Glucky. <laughs> just <laughs> guacamole. Just guacamole burrito if you want that? They've got it. They've got it. How about you? What kind of burrito uh, did you get from most? I didn't get a boat. Oh. You must have missed it. Uh -huh. Fine. I like them. Bo's breakfast burritos. Yeah. Oh, the oh, ham. Oh, oh, the ham and breakfast sandwiches. The ham, cream cheese, and and bacon. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. And nutritious. Okay, well, right? Bo, Bo's will hook you up. They have vegetarian options. That's right. right so. yeah. And Jeff? We'll be right back. All right, we're back, and it's time for... Yaki with me. Yaki with <laughs> Jeff. And today we are playing, what, Two Truths? And a Lie. Two Truths oh, and a Lie. Oh, boy. So we're excited. We've got Buckle our up. live studio audience member, Jason, here to hey. play also. So Jason's going to get in this with us. Yeah. So let's. Who would like to go first, Jeff? I think let's just explain the rules. Yes, yeah, so okay. we've done this before on the show. So each of you are going to say two things that are true about yeah. yourself. My name is Noel. I live in Portland. Oh, I mean, my name is Noel. I live in my own apartment. And then a lie. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, my name is, like, a truth would be my name is Jeff. I live it's in It's not my true. Apartment. Your name is Olivia. Oh, you're right. Okay. I'm lie. pretending to be Jeff. Okay. <laughs> right? Say two things that are true about yourself and then one thing that's false. And we have to figure out what the lie is. Okay? Yes. Okay. Who would okay. like to go first? Jason Lundy. Right. Yeah. 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 Guest go first. And a lie. Uh, mm -hmm. I am left-handed. Mm. Uh, I have met Jerry Seinfeld, and I have two kids. Ooh. What do you think the lie is, you guys? Uh, I think he doesn't have two kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Noel, right, what do you Noel. think? He does right left-handed. You think he is left-handed? Yeah. So what do you think the lie is? The, the Seinfeld? Yeah. Jerry Seinfeld? You did shake your head when he said that. All right. Did I have any tells? Did I do anything that would have shown? I don't know. I no. think, I'm thinking the left hand, the pen in the left hand is a fake out. Mm. So I think you're not left handed. I am not left handed. Oh, I did! <laughs> Beat you both. Yep. I'm on the board, even though I'm not really supposed to be playing. But that's okay. Okay, who's going right, to go next? Who's going next? Right All right, Noel. I have a dog. Uh huh. And I fish in a blanket. I fish in a blanket. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> and so I you go ice fishing, maybe. A new type of burrito for both. And I watch um, um, Glee on my computer. Okay, oh. I know the truth I here. Think I, I think I may as well. Yeah, Jeff. Which one of those is the lie? Which one is the lie? Um, I think I think. It's a fishy thing to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. <Yeah. laughs> he definitely watches Glee on his computer. So right, trying to make yours a little tougher. Yeah. I like myself. <laughs> okay. I think I know the answer to that. One. Yeah. I love myself. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> and I like being funny. Ooh. Okay, I guess. <laughs> what do you think, Paul? Ooh, that was, a, was that two or three? Uh, that was three. All likes three himself, similar. loves himself, <laughs> and likes being funny. Uh, the, the last one. Is the lie? Yeah. I think the lie is he likes himself because I think he loves himself and likes being funny. I'm going to go with that too. Mm -hmm. Which one was the lie, Jeff, or were they all true? Dramatic pause? Pregnant pause. Okay. Which one was the lie? Actually... None of them was wow, a lie. Wow, trick Ooh. question. Oh. Wow, that was really a tough one. It's all coming back to me why we haven't played this game for I a know. while. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming back. Noel, do you want to go one more time? 
Yes. All right, go ahead. Make it the hard one. Okay. I go upstream, <laughs> and I do have a TV. Okay. And I and I, and I have a um computer. Jeff, what is the lie here? <laughs> Think long and hard. Yeah. Oh, I, I know this because it's on the top of my head. I know it. What is it? The computer. No. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You think I, he goes upstream? Yes. <laughs> What's the lie, Noel? That was it. About going upstream? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. It's like going upstream. You yeah. Know. All right, Pete, you're Fight up. the current. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I'm going to need a minute. You go first. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I went to Rutgers University, mm -hmm. love drinking soda, and uh, I live in the East End in Portland. The lie is drinking soda. No. No to what? No to those two things. Okay. Noel, what did you say? Lies, I love drinking soda? Yeah. You're correct. So it's pretty boring, I guess, but I was trying to think of my feet. All right, you had time. Now you go. Okay. Your feet um, I worked in a takeout restaurant and scooped ice cream mm -hmm. for a few summers. Uh, when I worked at MBNA, uh, I left to go work at another bank. And I am taking my kids to a hockey tournament this weekend. That's true. Ooh. I know the answer. That's true. The ice cream one. The ice cream one is true. No, it's not. <laughs> Why? It's, it's, we're telling the first you. one is a lie. The ice cream, ice cream one? one? No, the one after that. The MBA one? Yeah. That is a lie. Because I left MBA and I came here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this has been a great happy with you. Yeah. So, Jeff? We'll be right back. All right, we're back, and it's time for Susie's Cues. Susie's Cues. Oh, and Susie, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's excited. Susie, what's the name of your game today? My game today. What would you do if? What, what would, would you, you do? do if? So Susie's going to name out some scenarios to the guys, and they're going to answer with their best response, which can either be, you know, genuine life advice or something really funny in response. Sound good? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Hit my theme song. Oh, okay. sorry, excuse me, hit your yes. theme song. Hit it. Song. And this yeah. is about podcast, right? right. Yes, yes. yes. Good. Yeah. I love podcasts, and I'm doing something. Yes, yeah. doing something. Yes. There we go. Oh. We always end the song with a twirl. Yes, yeah. always. Yeah. Fabulous. All right, always. so I think we're up with our first question, right? Yes. Okay. What would you do if? What did you if you get lost at the mall? Ooh, Ooh what would you do if you got lost at the mall? Who's so going to go, go first? first? You Bob Slater. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm, that's your answer. Good. What would you do? Bob if you sled out or something? <laughs> I didn't know they had Bob sledding at the mall. <laughs> what would you do? You get lost at the mall. Um, I probably uh, go to a baseball game. You guys, great okay. answers. All right. <laughs> Let's try to really answer the next one. Okay. Simon came to the door and went. Did and you don't and you don't know them. What would you do if someone came to your door but you don't know them? Do you let them in? No. No. What do you do? I would say nothing. Yeah. Stay quiet. Yeah. What about you? What do you do? Somebody uh, knocks on your door. Uh, um, Somebody <laughs> brush your teeth. I guess. Somebody knocks on your door. No, thank you. Um. <laughs> uh, um. Get the heck out of there. Yeah, tell, tell me to get the heck out. out of there. Yeah, that's uh, another way to uh, do it too. Or <coughs> get your butt out of there. All right. <laughs> good job keeping it PG. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> Next one's a good one. Oh boy. You are a toilet paper when you're on the toilet. You run out of toilet paper when you're on the toilet. What oh do you boy. do? I know. What? You use <laughs> tissues. 
<laughs> yeah, you can use tissues. All right. Oh, bathroom. Nice. Baby wipes. <laughs> Baby wipes. Sure. Right. What if you don't have any of those available? Woody, ask you the That's tough follow. Then it gets a little darker. Then it gets a little <laughs> rougher. <laughs> then call do. someone on your phone and let someone in to get me a phone. Yeah. Ask for some help. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty what resourceful. Yeah. JG? Yeah. You're out of toilet paper on the toilet. What do you do? Uh, you the cup. A cup? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why do you have a cup on the toilet? Uh, uh, because uh, you don't have anything to wipe with. So you use a cup? <laughs> <laughs> Nervous about what you do in your own apartment. But, Susie, next question. We should skip to the next. Okay. Moving right along. Uh, Okay, sorry about that. Yeah. (laughs) What do you have? Head, forms, or earbuds, but you don't want to listen to music in public. So you don't have headphones, but you want to listen to your music in public. Oh, a terrible dilemma. You really want to listen to some Nick Carter. Yeah. What do you do? Do you just blast it on loud or? Quiet mode. Quiet mode. Uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, I probably, you know, listen to it on my phone and I, not uh, earphones. You just go you for it. You just go for it. Yeah. Play that music. Right. Yeah, that's on par with who I know you to be. And you would play it, but quietly? Vibrate mode. Vibrate mode. So you wouldn't. Play you wouldn't it. listen to your music. You'd just wait. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's tough. Great. Those were great questions. We can do it on computer. Mm-hmm. And it? exciting oh, that see. we're going to yeah. have a contest. That's with right. Us with uh, what would you do if? Yeah. If you want to answer one of those questions, send us an email, strivecast at pslstrive.org, and we're going to pick the best answer, and they're going to win a gift card. That's right. Exciting. New game here. So what Susie question Steve's. do they have to answer? Pick one. Oh, I think the the toilet paper one. Oh yeah, okay. Could be the question of the week. But so respond, but yeah, don't use a cup. <laughs> that answer is already taken. No, the and best also, answer for that question. Advice. Oh, I I I I would say use a napkin. Okay, uh. good switch in the end, you know. So if you would like to participate in this game and would like to win a gift card, you can send it in an email. Send your answer to what would you do if you were on the to- toilet and you ran out of toilet paper. <laughs> send your answer to in, in an email to strivecast at pslstrive.org and we will pick our best answer. Read it on the air next week, next episode, and you'll find out if you win. Sound good? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All, right. All right. We'll be right back. Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. All right, thanks so much to our guests, Jason Lundy and Rose Parks, for being here. They take for the whole show, if you can believe it. I don't know if anybody else has a gun. They've seen how the magic happens. They've seen the sausage get made. So thanks so much to them and for coming in and for being our live studio audience. Amazing. Hopefully our live studio audience will grow as time goes on. We'll do some more live shows, which is really exciting. Thanks so much to our engineer, Ryan, for putting the show together. We really appreciate it and always making us sound good. Thanks so much to our producing team of Whitney and Susie for keeping us on track and Whitney especially today for keeping us on track and keeping our friend Susie on track as well. And uh, Starbucks coming up May 2nd and 3rd at the Cross Insurance Arena in Portland. Don't miss it. More details to come. Jeff is yawning, so I guess it's time for us to go. Anything else you want to talk about today? Um, actually, uh, Alice Bordred. Uh, oh, he's going to ask you some questions. <laughs> Jeff has made new friends today? <laughs> yes, my best friend Jason. My best friend Jason. Bring it on, buddy. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, um, Alice, Alice Bordred. <laughs> Do you do wrestling? <laughs> oh, man. Actually, uh, I do. Uh, I wrestle with my kids a lot. Uh, I have gator wrestled, uh, and uh, I wrestled in. I didn't. I didn't do it in high school. I did it in middle school. Wow. Right. Well, two truths and a lie. Ooh. Two truths and a lie. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. He's right. He's right. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> everything I say is a lie, but everything Jason says is true. Amazing. Yep. Um, uh, wow. Yeah. That's incredible. No gator wrestling? No gator wrestling. Yeah, I was like, wow. Oh, oh I thought we... I was saying, was uh, um, <laughs> uh, I, I mean, like, real wrestling. Real wrestling, no. Right. Unfortunately not. Right. I'd love to. Oh, yeah. Is real wrestling to you, like, You would have gone, like, even more popular. Yeah, if you did WWE. I did know a guy who was... WWE. 
Is that wrestling to you? That's what you mean by wrestling? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. I did know a, uh, a semi-pro wrestler who actually worked in support services Whoa. Uh, in Delaware, and he was the Cheetah Master was his Whoa. name. Whoa. <laughs> yep. Get him on the show. Yeah, That'd yeah, be yeah. fun. We, might be able to we did have the it. Monster Lobster we had, Ultimate yeah, Fighter on really? the podcast. Oh, that was really yeah. fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was you said that was your favorite episode, Jeff. Oh, uh, yeah. That was a pretty good yeah, one. He was pretty into it. That was awesome. And by the way, I took a picture of that. You did? Yeah, yeah. good. Oh, yeah. He's gonna, he gets a big guns. <laughs> yeah, okay. Speaking of guests, who we have yeah, coming up? Next week we have uh, Liz Potter Schlacks, who is the CEO of the United Way of Greater Portland. And then after that, we're going to be talking to our friend Aaron Cannon, who works over at Wex. Who's going to tell us about the exciting things that they're doing over there? So a lot of great episodes coming up, and more, more to come. So stay tuned for our upcoming guest panel. And send us your well. suggestions. As always, uh, please keep your suggestions coming at strivecast at pslstrive.org or by mail, like Pete's mom did for some. Yeah, if you have second suggestions you can send those in as well oh, yeah. shout out to barbara Brown, real quick all right Damn. we done thank you thank you thank you <laughs> thank you thank you, thank you. All right. see you next week yep see you this week